during your engine's four stroke cycle, you have a stroke called the power stroke. That's when the air fuel mixture goes in and explodes, pushing that piston down. Well, here's the next one, my friends. This is called the exhaust stroke. What's happening here is everything's burnt in there. And you may even have some unburned fuel still burning and coming out of that cylinder. What's next? Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. We're talking about the exhaust system. And to understand the exhaust system, let's look at that exhaust stroke. The first thing that's happening is the piston's on its way up and that exhaust valve opens. That means all the exhaust has to get pushed out. Now it has to get pushed out where? Through the exhaust system. You can see there the exhaust manifold, the header pipe, through the catalytic converter, through the muffler, and out the tailpipe. All that has to be functioning correctly, including everything inside the muffler, the baffles, the resonance, everything going on inside of there. So what can you do? A quick exhaust inspection. This is pretty cool. Just go through and look at all the hangers, look at all the metal products on there, anything that the rubber suspension components that are going to hold the exhaust system up, just take a look at them, twist them, pull them, tug on them. Then follow the exhaust all the way from the tailpipes up, giving your catalytic converters a good inspection. You can also do an infrared test. You can shoot that pipe and see if there's any hot spots. Let's say, for example, there was 200 degrees and then it was 100 after there, you know you got a hot spot. You can take a rubber mallet and tap it and listen to any rattles going on. Then some good tips, man. This rubber mallet's phenomenal hitting these parts. You may hear something rattling, the rubber hangers, or you can shoot it with this infrared gun and check for the temperature difference. Let's say, for example, it's 600 degrees here, 200 here. We know we got a restriction. Also, this catalytic converter, man, this thing is all thermal melted. So what happened, nothing is gonna get through there. That's a huge problem because you got some massive pressure in the cylinder. Right, that exhaust has to go someplace and it's gonna find the path of least resistance. Normally, as you know, that's gonna be past the rings, through the ring end gap. Anywhere where it can sneak through there, what's under there is the oil. So the oil is gonna end up absorbing that exhaust gas. And exhaust gases are all kinds of nasty stuff. Byproducts of combustion is what we call them. Nitric acid can be the byproduct that's produced when it all mixes down there in the oil sump. You need to build in reserve protection, which we do in all of our products. It's called total base number. That's the reserve alkalinity in the oil that's designed to handle those types of things. Make sure that your oil doesn't turn to acid. Acid likes to eat bearings. Yeah, and that's not a good thing. You know you're really into cars when you can tell which friend is coming over by the sound of their exhaust. So go be that best friend and tell everybody about amsoil.com.